Hello, this is Anik and you are watching Education Insider. And today we are covering the topic Big Omega Notation with some examples. And this topic is publishing under the Asymptotic Notations lecture and specifically for Big Omega Notation. And this topic Asymptotic Notations lecture has total 4 parts and I am updating the links of other 3 parts in the description section. So let's start with the Big Omega. So as described in part 1, now let us discuss it briefly that just same as big O notation that defines upper bound, big omega defines lower bound on a function. So as you can see in this graph that cg of n is defining the lower bound of function f of n. So these are some examples that we will be covering in this video. So keep watching for best understanding of big omega notation. So this is example number 1 and we need to prove the lower bound that is big omega of f of n function that is 3n plus 2. So first thing first let us assume the inequality for big omega. But observe that this inequality is now reversed than that of big O. Because here we need to prove lower bound of the function. Okay, so far so good. Let's populate the values of f of n and g of n. So now let us apply some algebraic rules to it. I picked this 3n from here and place to this side. Now taking common, we will be getting something like this. And now after dividing c minus 3 on both sides we will be getting n as this. Now what should be the value of c? As described in big O part we did this type of question same like this. We assumed c value such that n should not be negative or undefined. So assume c as 4 then we get n as 2. Okay? So Yes, we have proved the lower bound of this function f of n that is 3n plus 2. Moving on to the next example, now again we need to prove the lower bound of function 5n square. First thing first, let's assume the inequality for big omega. After populating g of n and f of n, we get something like this. Now let's cut out the n by dividing n on both sides. Now what minimum value of n we can assume here? If you remember n must not be negative or must not be 0. So we can assume 1 as the minimum n value. And hence we get the value of c as 5. So yes we proved it. This was the simpler one. Now let's move to the example number 3. So first of all what we need to do? We need to assume the inequality and just then populate the values of f of n and g of n. So till now I have explained this method in big O notation. In this big omega topic I will be finding out n value in a little bit different way. So listen carefully as what happening here. As we need to prove that this c n square must be lesser than this 5 n square plus 2 n minus 3. So we need to prove that this is greater than this. So if we observe the right side as something positive is adding to this. But meanwhile something negative is subtracting. So we must prove that this whole is positive. So for proving this we assume this inequality as like this that is 2n minus 3 is greater than 0. So after doing some algebra we will be getting n as 2. Now listen, as we prove that when n is greater than equal to 2, then this 5n square plus 2n minus 3 is going to be greater than this cn square. 
So after inserting the value of n as 2 in this inequality, we will be getting c as 5. Okay, so yes, we proved it. We find out the lower bound that is c is equal to 5 and n naught is equal to 2. Now let's move to another example number, uh, example number 4. First thing first, let's assume inequality for this and populate the values of f of n and g of n. Let's observe this inequality here. See, this cannot be proved as this right side is smaller than this left side. Okay? So we can simply say that this cannot be proved so big omega or lower bound of this function cannot be find out so if you guys find this video very helpful then do share and subscribe to this education insider channel this boasts me to make more informative videos and obviously these are very helpful for you guys thank you very much bye bye